I'm going to walk you through setting up the default Arma 3 launcher to join our servers. The third party A3 launcher is convenient, but it can have problems with certain mods or updates at times, making it difficult to join. Plus, our servers have some optional mods that you can load, and it's really hard to get A3 launcher to load those mods properly and consistently. So to start, make sure that you have the A3 launcher shut down. If you try to launch Arma with the A3 launcher running, it won't work. Although you can start the A3 launcher once Arma has already started. So start Arma. You'll come to the launcher. Go down to the Mods tab. This list of mods here with the check marks are mods that will load when you start the game. This list of mods without the check marks will not load. You need to make sure that this list of mods is identical to the list of mods needed to join the server. If any of the mods that you need aren't either here or down here, then we need to get them into this list. If it's a Steam mod that's not loading up, you need to go to the workshop, unsubscribe from it, and then resubscribe to that mod. It should then show up in this list and you'll get a notification down here. If it's a non-Steam mod, then you need to tell Arma 3 where it needs to look. Exile is the most likely mod that you're going to have to go look for because it is the only non-Steam mod on either the Altus server or the Malden server currently that's required. We have some non-Steam optional mods. So if you don't know where the Exile mod is, the easiest way to find it is by opening the A3 launcher. Under Servers, you'll see the list of mods required to join the server. This list doesn't include optional mods, which is why A3 launcher is not ideal for joining our servers. If you go to Mods, look for the mod in question. In our case right now, it's Exile. Go over here, click on Folder. It'll take you to the folder that currently houses that mod. It's going to open up the mod folder itself. You don't want this folder, you want the folder that contains the Exile folder and any other mods that A3 Launcher has downloaded for you. Make note of this location. In my case, I'm just going to select it, copy it. Then I'll close this down, close down A3 Launcher. Now back in the Arma 3 Launcher, come up to More, Add Watched Folder, Add Custom Folder, navigate to that folder that we just went to in the A3 Launcher, or just paste its location here. Make sure that the mods are in here that you're looking for. Select Folder. It'll now show up right here as a watched folder. Come back to Mods. You should see a notification down here saying that some mods were added. Find the mods, make sure they're enabled, and you're good to start. On our website, we have lists of all of the mods required to join each server under the server heading. If they're a Steam mod, there are links to the workshop to subscribe to them. If it's a non-Steam mod, there are links to download them. Exile should be the only non-Steam mod that you have to download. I try to keep them to a minimum to make it easier to join. You'll also notice some optional mods. Blast Core, which is a visual enhancement. The Temp Fix for Miniguns, which fixes some of the issues with uh, Exile and certain miniguns. We also have the JSRS4 audio enhancement, which is not on this list, which I highly recommend. So back in the launcher, once you have all of the required mods, if you want to add some of the optional mods, go ahead and select them. I'm going to do Blast Core. I'm going to do the JSRS Apex. And I'm going to do the Temp Fix for Miniguns. Once you have your list complete, I highly recommend making a preset. Come up here, select Save, enter a title when it asks you to, and you're good to go. You'll notice I have the BSF Malden. This is all of the mods needed to join Malden. BSF Altus, the same. Every other server I do the same thing for. Select the right preset, click Play, and you are good to go.